one is Nunavik, oneness, Elohim, many Adonai, one. Think about it. Mankind is one, but we don't know we are. The Lord, in pouring out his spirit upon all flesh, shall make that oneness clear to us and turn the table so that oneness becomes desirable. Harmony in action with our love as a verb moving forward. Because love ain't even love unless, unless you give it away. One candle. And this is the channel of that one candle. The candlestick of Zechariah 3, 4, and 5. It comes on every day here. But aside from that, whether you want to believe the truth or not, it's time to light the candle of passionate faith. And time to light the candle of passion for all creation. And the Lord's refiner's fire is the flame. One flame in billions of hearts, all flickering to the same wind of blessedness that only He alone can bring. So it's time to light the candle of hope, new hope, hope based on the tranquility, serenity, and blissfulness that our master of the wood now sends. He is the carpenter of the ages, and his tongue alone is as the rod of his power, and it is the hammer of God and all creation before him are but as nails. And when he brings that hammer down, he has his way in the storm and the dust of our ignorance is but as uh, clouds under his feet. The resplendence of beauty is his alone. He is the one altogether beautiful. He is the returning majesty of majesties, hero of heroes. So it's time to light the candle of hope renewed. How? The word of God, if people will listen to me, proclaims that there is something in the latter days that will be considered only one thing, only one place in the word of God does it say, thus saith God, this shall be considered in the latter days. What, Mr. Daniel? <laughs> Well, the answer to that is easy, that God says this, I will be your God, you will be my people, I will forgive your iniquity, I will never remember it ever again, sending Satan to the pit for a thousand years, as Daniel 12 outlays. And then all shall know me, from the least to the greatest, uh, everybody in the world, I'm the Lord God of all mankind, Jeremiah 32, 27. This new hope is the unification of all people of love moving together as one that will bring forth days of the great, greatest refreshing, days of the great regeneration of earth, Isaiah 61. Because what I am pointing to is a finality of all religion as it has been known. The shattering of the power of the holy people, Daniel 12, 7, is the manifestation of the prophecy of Hebrews 8. And Paul prophesied that when that kingdom age covenant came to tear down all the kingdoms of man, uh, Jeremiah 1, 10, Haggai 2, 2, both proclaimed it would tear down all kingdoms of man, all imaginations of all not built upon his unconditional love. So that when it comes forth, all things would become obsolete as far as a religion goes. So that man can get along in the sandbox and quit throwing at each other. But people have to have open hearts and not be as shallow as a glass of water. Because in the days when the covenant comes, and uh, in Hebrews 8, Paul the Apostle even uh, wrote, the words of that covenant again and he said when it comes because it was promised by God in Jeremiah 31 uh, 1 it says so 
it says so. God's word says what I'm saying, that in the latter days it would come. Jeremiah 30, 24, in the latter days, the Lord God would say unto all mankind, I shall remove my terrifying anger and stop the fast rising great tribulation if you give me the desire of my heart. Um, a reversal of the curse is at hand if we want it, if we will stand together. Otherwise, we're going to get the same future. Um, <laughs> The Antichrist, the lawless one, has been revealed exactly as 2 Thessalonians. Uh, and if we could uh, get on the same page, who is the lawless one of Revelation 14 that would die by a sword? Who dies by a sword, guys? It's the exponential uh, Antichrist, uh, New Age, Hyperion uh, religion of uh, Hyperionism, Mord official. YouTube station and the guy's exponential now. Uh, in only one year, he has added a hundred thousand subscribers to um, to his uh, numbers and Facebook followers. He has o over two two million right now. And this guy has the uh, six six six. It's apparent in his um, Hyperion uh, emblem. And the bottom line is this guy would be the one that would die by a sword. He's the sword swallower. And if you uh, if you follow what he's doing, he's shake going to shake this world is what he's going to do. So the bottom line, people, if you want truth instead of a bunch of deceit leading the way for humanity, you're going to start paying attention to what the Lord is saying to this manifested channel of Hebrews 8, where all faith other than the good shepherd arising over all the flocks of men, John 10, 15, 16, that is the one world faith and religion of Chrislam. Uh, Isaiah 62, 2, the new name, it says so, that God would give Israel after they get their kingdom age covenant. And, uh, so it's time that we get get with this program sending forth peace because the bottom line is we can have it but if we don't even know where in the heck we are if we're totally without a compass and if we don't realize that prophecy was never told to tell the future but to change the future or else it would have been an evil thing prophecy if it locked us into an inevitable uh, future of utter death then uh, it would have only existed just to create fear within us which is uh, not of God that is of confusion so it's time that we get ahead and it's time that we be passionate and it's time for our Lord of Lords he is standing tall on the great white cloud of Revelation 14. That's the same exact great white cloud of uh, Revelation uh, 14 is Matthew 24's cloud, same cloud. And our Lord is standing up with his hands open, flowing forth his living water into the world, an ocean of his adoration. The living water is as old faithful and Jehovah Nisi is the banner of knowledge and truth over him. All of God's people have been destroyed by their lack of knowledge, and people do. To turn away from this channel is to accept that it is not appropriate to praise the Lord anymore in this day and age, because many people are like, they, they, who is this guy uh, calling Jesus? Our beloved, our blessed, and our adored. The one uh, Isa Yeshua, Jesus, the same Messiah over all. Water, steam, ice, doesn't matter. A name is just a name. Take a pill, people. You don't be so... That's why we've got, like, there's over... In Christianity, there's like three, four hundred divisions of Christianity. No one can agree with nobody about nothing. Stop the insanity. Back up the bus. Reverse the curse. It's time to light new candles of God's mercy coming forth as a flood of love for one and all of us. And it's time to get with that program. 
because that will move us ahead and a tsunami of his benevolence is, is gushing of rapid waters of, of his beneficence is coming forth from his magnificence of his spoken word and as he speaks uh, his, his words have the power of the cyclone and the strength of the greatest storm he is sending forth his word through his strong and mighty one who stands and measures the earth and has a lot left over. <laughs> so it's time to realize that as we lift up our Prince of Peace, our good shepherd over all the flocks of man, whether they know it or, or don't, it rains on the just and the unjust. And as we do that, the door shall open unto our utter kingdom age freedom just ahead that will only be brought through love for it shall not be by power nor might but by the spirit of love that all things shall be accomplished insofar as the kingdom age arising in the blessedness that it shall I am the latter day Daniel and in the latter day it says so Jer um, Daniel 12, 13, in the latter days. It has that word, in the latter days. And in the latter days, there shall be a new mountain of faith. In the latter days, Isaiah 2, it says so, latter days. Micah 4, it says so, latter days. It says so, latter, L-A-T-T, -T, a new mountain of faith. What mountain is it? The mountain of Isaiah 25. Upon this mountain shall all disgrace and uh, shame be removed because God's forgiveness is flowing here. It is the latter day mountain that will bring forth the kingdom age. And in order to have that kingdom age, the Bible says, it doesn't matter what I say, the Bible says that people must beat their sword into the sickle in the latter days on that latter day mountain. I don't know about you guys, but there's never been another mountain rising. So if you're waiting for a real mountain to arise, you're gonna be waiting for a long time. Now, I have the definitions, the um, latter day mountain that we must beat our sword into the spirit. Uh, it's, this, it's talking about the sword, uh, beating the sword of the spirit, which is the Bible into a new understanding unveiled the gross darkness of Isaiah 60 that's covered all mankind has been removed so that we can see the sickle of his word from Amos 9, that the Lord Jesus Christ Almighty, our living splendor of majesty, whom he alone is, the desire of all nations, he has always been the sower of the seed of overflowing passionate love, burning brighter than the burning bush ever dared to. And as uh, he arises, people can clearly see the crystal clear waters reflected in him of the crystal sea on high. For the splendor of his majesty uh, is a brightness beyond compare. All the brightness of, of the heavens are, are dim compared to his beauty that overflows from the magnificence that is his beneficence, his love for one and all of us. And as all of that happens and he's pouring himself out, people will finally realize the, the inevitable truth that uh, all the creation has been groaning with great expectations for the revelation of who we even are. We're angels of God. John 10, Jesus said, you are gods. We're angels in the flesh. The glory of the latter house greater than that of the former, the Bible says. Not only that, the first are last, last are first. We are the created last because we are first. We are a higher creation than the angels. And uh, so it's, it's time that we move forward with praise leading the way. Uh, to worship in the purest truth, in the purest unity of love, and all um, casting my videos away are satanically guided because they're not pressing in towards the truest truth that Israel has inherited all mankind, Isaiah 54, because the covenant 
has been given to Israel in the latter days, Jeremiah 31, 1. Or God would be a liar if he didn't do that. And I am the latter day Daniel of Daniel 12, 13. My name is Daniel. I got the right name. And uh, all I can tell you is, beloved, things are going to change, but people need to listen to me. And I am the most ignored man on uh, the net right now. But that was foretold because you see the message messenger of Christ to Israel, uh, Isaiah 41, uh, it is foretold he would just be ignored by Israel, number one. And it's foretold in Isaiah 49 that that same messenger would, everything that he would do would be in vain for love. And that's been me. It was never Christ. Even in Gethsemane when Jesus prayed for our unity, and our oneness in the most passionate prayer. He knew he was not wasting his words because he knew our unity that he would send us through his word, a proper understanding of that kingdom age covenant because by it, if God threw one person in hell that is a person of love, his word would be a lie. For those who love are born of God and know God because God is love. First John 4, 7. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten love. So whosoever would love should not perish, but have everlasting love, everlasting life. And he is our love, Lord thereof always, our Lord of always. And mercy endures forever, always goes before him. And a second chance from heaven do we have if we will hear his whispering words of love that does have the energy of a, 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 a wishing star. And he gets to, to bring forth the desires of his heart of hearts, very best wishes for us. If we will move in group to what he is wanting people of love to, 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 to do. That's my story, and I guess I'm sticking to it.